This is non-calculator question number 15. College Board gives us a word problem with a paragraph about Alan's driving habits. And they say, which equation can Alan use to determine how many fewer average miles am he should drive each week to save $5? We want to reduce our gasoline expenditure by $5. And M is how many fewer average miles. So if M miles, if I multiply that by miles per gallon, the miles won't cancel. But if I flip 25 miles for one gallon and write that as one gallon over 25 miles, this is very much like the way we convert units in chemistry, where we write an expression where the numerator and the denominator correspond. So we're essentially multiplying by one, because 25 miles of driving equals one gallon of gasoline. And now our miles cancel. And I have units of gallons, but I want to know how many dollars. And gasoline is somewhere up here. Gasoline is four dollars per gallon. So that's four dollars per gallon. Per gallon means gallons goes in the denominator. Gallons will cancel. So this is the number of dollars saved. And we want the number of dollars saved to be reduce our expenditure by five dollars. So we want that to be five. Simplifying, this is 4 over 25 times m equals 5. That would be choice D. D is the expression Alan would use to determine how many fewer miles he needs to drive each week to save each week or each month, whichever, each week to save the $5 in the question. When you're trying to convert from one set of units to another, often multiplying by expressions equal to one, the way we do in chemistry, is the easiest way to answer the question. And College Board will usually ask a question like this. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.